Solid performance by Donnie Thompson. And the back and forth battle between UCLA and Georgia continues. Fritz Singer, 9 8, 7 5. The score on her vault. And Thompson, beam, 9 9. Now, Michigan has a bit of a problem. Karina Sr. went out of bounds, scores a 9 8 on the floor. Right here in a tumbling pass, a Shushanova. You can see her feet cross the white line, and that'll be one tenth deduction. Michigan trying to keep this a three way battle for first. Bridget Knable now on the floor. She opens with a very difficult tumbling pass, a full in. Done very well. Bridget, a team tri captain, and a man that really has improved her skill level each and every year. You can see a full twisting whip back through to a double tuck. Very difficult. Looking ahead, Georgia and UCLA, Amanda, will be done after this rotation. Michigan, though, will end on the vault. Advantage, disadvantage? I think it's an advantage for Michigan because they know exactly what they need to do. Georgia and UCLA just have to sit and watch and hope that they can hold their position. Canable scored a perfect 10 in this event against Southeast Missouri State back in February. This has been a very clean routine so far. She only has one tumbling pass to go. Playing nicely to the crowd. Ending with a front full front pipe. Very clean. Well, the message is clear. Don't forget about Michigan. The Wolverines chasing after UCLA and Georgia. Over on the beam, oh, Malia Jones. 9-4-2-5. Let's see where she struggled. Gain her layout. You can see her lose her balance just a little bit. And not a chance in saving it. Amanda, UCLA, they can't stand prosperity. Valerie Condos feel a look of concern on the beam. Yvonne Tusik and the Bruins in desperate need of a solid score as they continue to try to zero in on their second straight national championship. Well, this is where her Olympic competitive experience could come into play. She knows how to handle pressure. She's a two-time Olympian. A flight series by handspring, layout by handspring, very solid. You can see she's very confident. Tuzik season's best score, 995. Craig, you can hear the crowd going crazy in the background for Georgia. It's got to be very tough on the balance beam to keep your composure. Sometimes you can barely concentrate when the crowd's so loud. Nice back tuck swing down. All this on a four inch beam. I would think the crowd would have to Confuse and maybe annoy. You know, sometimes when you hear extra noises around, you hear them chanting for another team, you start having other thoughts in your head. But she's done a great job of keeping her composure with a very solid routine for UCLA. Yvonne Tusik, UCLA needed a big score. Solid performance by Yvonne Tusik. Knable scores a 9 9 2 5 for Michigan on the floor. Tusik. 9-9-5-0 is UCLA maybe a step closer to another national title. And the moments ago, the cheers you heard were for Georgia's Suzanne Sears. Suzanne is a powerful, outstanding vaulter. And this was her very last college vault, performing a handspring pike front half, beautifully done. And what a great way to end her collegiate career. Ranked number nine in the country in this event. Let's take another look. Beautiful pre-flight, great height, 
Not a single step on the landing. Georgia fan Valerie Condos Field worried about the beam. For Michigan, Bev Plocky. Can they make up some ground on the floor exercise? And for Suzanne Yachlin, Georgia's best apparatus, the vault. And Doris Allen, Yachlin's mom, in the stands, suffered a brain aneurysm in early January, but is here to support her daughter. Marlene Stevens now takes to the vault. Marlene is a very strong vaulter. Watch the power and height off the horse, Yurchenko Arabian. But Georgia needs to be sticking these landings if they want to make a move on UCLA. That will keep the pressure on the Bruins. On the beam, Kristen Maloney. Amanda, the first Bruin to ever score a 10 on this event. And she did it against Oregon State back in mid-February. Kristen has always been outstanding at this event. Getting ready for her flight series. Backhand swing layout, a little bit watered down. They want to make sure they have no mistakes. Watch this. Full twisting swing down, very difficult. Competing Amanda with on three different events with that titanium rod in her leg. Kristen is a very tough athlete, but I can tell you, she is doing this for the team. Ranked fourth nationally. Getting prepared for a dismount. She'll be doing two back handsprings. Right here. To a full twist. Perfect landing. Under pressure, a solid performance by Kristen Maloney. <laughs> to the floor exercise, Michigan's freshman Elise Ray. And this is the event that you can see how elegant she is. Second tumbling pass, whip half Rudy through to Shushanova. Very nice. Ray earned her first career perfect 10 in this event against Southeast Missouri State back in February. She's ranked 12th nationally. One pass to go. Ending with something easy for Elise. A clean double full. And that will score very well for Michigan. But where they will place is yet to be seen. Stevens on the vault with a score of 9850. Kristen Maloney, 9925 on the beam. And Ray dances to a 99 on the floor. Georgia has now reached his final vault of the competition, a possible championship resting on the shoulders and the ankle of Christy Litchi. carry Georgia to a national championship. This was the event that Christy struggled on in prelims. A beautiful pike front half and a great landing. Near perfection for Litchie. 9-9-5-0.